is van life really what it's hyped up to be? Over the past five years, van life has been blowing up on Instagram. But is it really as aesthetic as they say it is? Meet Carrot. We've just rented this T3 VW camper van. And the old girl's been going strong for some years. So let's see if this lifestyle is really as great as they say it is. We are currently on the island of Fuerteventura, Spain, off the west coast of Morocco. Good morning, guys. Look where we slept last night. How did you sleep last night in the carrot? Not so great, but I think it's because of the car noise, but I mean, it's worth it for this view. Look at that. I love just being able to wake up on the side of the road but with no one else around. The great thing about Fort Ventura Island is you can literally camp basically anywhere. She's off. She's running away. We camped about 500 meters away from the sea, but we all want to challenge ourselves to see how close we can get, literally within 10 meters, so we can roll out of bed straight into the ocean. Let's go to the beach, come on. <laughs> so as you can see, like there's this big cloud coming behind us. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and follow this blue gap of clear sky down the island. So we keep the sun as long as possible. We're never gonna lose Carrot on this island. She is such a bright orange that she sticks out from a mile away. There she is, glowing. Look at her. That's our home. <laughs> Gotta chase the sun, although these clouds are coming pretty fast. <laughs> Doing a little U-turn. She's got a surprisingly good Yui on her. <laughs> You're really straining to pull that wheel. It's not got the new modern power steering, so you have to like pull it yourself to turn around. So cool. If you want to rent this VW camper, then you can, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. We rented Carrot the camper from Va de Vans. We're so not used to being in a van. We keep leaving everything out on the side, all our cutlery, all our stuff, and everything just keeps flying about as soon as we start driving. You guys, look at the water. We have just arrived at these little rock pools. Look at the flipping water. Come on, let's go. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for this cold water, but look how clear that is. Woo! Look at this. Let's go for a little swim. Go! <laughs> That's so cold. Is it? Instant regret. <laughs> Our problem is that we're so used to like tropical climates and tropical warm waters that feel like a bath that this just feels so cold to us. But we've seen so many other people just swimming naturally. So it's probably fine. It's just us overreacting, being dramatic. <laughs> See, actually, when you get used to it, it's really not too bad. It's just the wind and that like sudden like bleh. Obviously, Fuerteventura is a volcanic island, and so all these rocks around here are like black volcanic rocks. But the great thing is here, the beaches are actually white still, which is pretty cool, you know? The best thing is, with a van, we can just go inside and get warm straight away. Yes, and we've got our shower with us, we've got everything here. If you've ever got windy conditions, then this is how you get dry. You just throw the towel up, and just let it slap you in the face. Just jiggle it around, just let the towel slap you, and then you're good, then you're dry. You're good, you're dry. Joel's got a new game. <laughs> so you know those volcanoes we saw earlier? We're gonna try and climb one of them, but first we have to make a stop. I've just put a pound in. Yes, I actually put a pound, not a euro, because I didn't have a euro on me. And basically, we're now filling up the car with some water, so <laughs> yeah. You fill it up here, and basically, I think we've got like 50 litres of water, which can use the shower in the back, which we'll show you later, and then inside, which is also, what is it? The like, sink. The sink water, yeah. It feels like completely different landscape around here to like, I don't know. There's the just sand dunes. Sand and stuff. dunes and stuff. And there's no trees anywhere. Like, I haven't seen one single tree on this whole island. We have started our hike towards the volcano. We're going to go onto the rim of it. What is it? Is that a chinchilla or a little squirrel? Like there's no trees on this side. What? We've just made it to the rim of the volcano and it's clearly inactive because there's no fire. 
There's nothing in there's there, no is there? There's no fire and there's no smoke. I'm kind of sad, but it's still pretty cool. So on Fora Ventura, there are no active volcanoes. They are all dominant and sleeping, and so we're gonna be safe. We're not gonna get set on fire today. No. We are around the other side of the crater now, and it feels like we are on planet Mars. It is absolutely crazy. If you want a completely different landscape to you know, what you have in the UK or in other parts of Europe, come here and you're on a different planet. From up here you get amazing views like all the way around the island pretty much. You can see like the ocean, Lanzarote over there and then the mountains over that way and more ocean. It's pretty cool view. How are you doing? My hair is just not enjoying this wind. There's Carrot. We are back in Carrot and we're heading down south. Let's go. These are the things people don't normally show you about van life. Amelia dropping off the rubbish. Hey. With no shoes on. For the last hour, all we've seen is basically these grey Mars landscapes. Now we've just seen that blue water. And blimey, we're heading straight for it. Let's go to the beach. This beach is absolutely gorgeous. It is so blue, like you have no idea. Oh blimey, I think this is a nudist beach. Not gonna lie, all this like nudity is a bit much for me, but I mean, fair play, if that's what you wanna do, it's just like, wherever you look, you're just like, mm, not sure I should be seeing that. It is cold, isn't it? No, it's cold, it's cold. I'm trying to make my clothes feel good, but it's cold. Now, I know on this channel we say it a lot, this is the bluest water I've ever seen. But genuinely, this is in the top five bluest water I've ever seen. It's just slightly windier than, say, I don't know, the Philippines. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go! We've been chilling on the beach for quite a while now and it is a really nice beach because you can actually shelter from the wind and some of the other beaches you can't do this. But yeah, we're quite enjoying this. We're just hiding a little bit from the wind and the naked people yeah. up here on these stairs, which is quite nice. In you go. What a day at the beach. The best thing about van life is like, you can just come off the beach and then just like you're at home straight away. And relax. Ah, I could just go to bed right now. We've had a really nice afternoon at the beach, but now we have this incredible campsite with this view. Like how good is this? That is a five star hotel view right there. Except the five star hotel is here and our five star hotel home is Woo! here. So we're gonna get some sleep first, then we're gonna show you this beautiful van in the morning. Cause guys, it's pretty special in here, but we'll see you tomorrow. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Look at the sunrise we have this morning. Oh, this is the best thing about van life, just waking up right next to the ocean with the sun out in our beautiful camper van. What a, what a morning. How are you feeling this morning, Amelia? Pretty good. I slept actually quite well. The sounds of the waves are quite relaxing. <laughs> quite a peaceful night, not too windy. Look at our setup. Let's give you a little tour around this place then. Yeah, we? I think it's time. Right guys, let's show you the back of the van first up. Hi. Here Amelia is in bed, look at that. Look at this view we have from bed. Like, what? Apart from Joel, ignore Joel. Thank you, thank you, I know, I know. So we've got all this storage here and then in here we have a wardrobe where we can hang up our stuff. And then this bed actually transitions into a sofa. And here you can see the bed is converted and we have loads more space for activities and cooking and stuff. 
So obviously here we've got a sink with some water, a cooker, and then inside here, we also have a fridge and even a freezer. Like there's a freezer in here. How good is this? So that means we can get lots of ice cream. We did have like ice cream last night, but we ate it all. Yeah. <laughs> and then here, all you can do is push up the bed and then look, you've got more standing room. So you can do the washing up, do the cooking, and then you can extend this and then you have another two bed, double bed um, place up here. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? This is the upstairs, room for two people, lots of space, and there's a view out too. Cheers. Cheers. The nice thing about van life is we woke up here, we've had breakfast here, we could stay here all day and we don't need to go anywhere because we're completely off grid. Although we do need some warm water because we're running out. Yeah. So after a beautiful morning, just chilling by the coast, we are heading back up north to another spot, which is supposed to be really, really beautiful. Whoa, Whoa. Look, at, look at the sand coming across the road. It's proper desert here, This isn't is it? like a big old desert, just on the side of Tora Ventura. Look at all the sand coming here. Whoa. We're just arriving at a little spot we found, which is perfect to like eat and shower. This is gonna be our evening home. We've got a little sand dune behind us, We've got our tables and chairs out, and then we're just gonna relax here and eat dinner, have a little shower, just relax for the night. I think this is my favorite thing about van life, just being able to like cook wherever and just having choices about what we eat and not having to eat out a lot because when we travel Southeast Asia, we have to pretty much eat out every meal because there's no kitchens or anything. Oh. Here we go. We got the onions on. Lovely jubbly. Got the kidney beans ready. Look at those. Guys, we had to move inside because the wind was so strong it kept blowing out of things. So we had to move inside and we wanted to cook outside. When you're doing van life, you just gotta improvise. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Here we go, our special sort of Mexican rice dish with red beans. Cheers. <laughs> Look at this. Rice, beans, peppers, onions. It's the good stuff. So we're gonna have to go to another spot to shower because it's a little breezy here. And because it's not super warm, we're gonna have to, you know, we need the shelter to, so we don't freeze to death. <laughs> so we jump in our home and head to the next little spot. It's windy everywhere but here, which is where the shower is, so it's perfect. Okay, it is shower time on the side of the road. Are you ready? No, I feel very exposed here, I'm not gonna lie, but. Let's do it anyway. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. To keep clean in a van. Three shower warm up. Let's just do it. <laughs> we'll come here and then you won't be in the wind. Wait. <laughs> Yo, oh, it's cold. This is the real van aesthetic that you see on Instagram, except it's freezing cold. Yeah, it's not as warm as they make you think. Get in here. Oh. <laughs> Shampoo! Is it going on? On my head, please. This is mine. Oh. <laughs> he always takes my shower products. Oh. Did anyone do this as a kid? Of course. <laughs> You're getting so <safe> everywhere. <laughs> so guys, I have a little bit of a surprise which I haven't shown Joel yet. It's this. And this is a shiwi. And basically what it is, it's so girls can pee outside like boys. But yeah, we're going to get Joel's reaction to this. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Do you know what it is? I guess. It's a shiwi. It's so girls can pee like a boy. Oh. What do you think? That's not for me, that's for you. <laughs> so I'm going to go try this out. I think this sort of catches your pee. So yeah, let's go. Oh, it's working. It's working! I can't. It's kind of working. I don't feel comfortable with this. I don't like it. So after this few days living in good old Carrot, these are our final thoughts on van life. Should you live van life? Well, honestly, we've actually really enjoyed it. We've said at some point in our lives, maybe not quite yet, we actually want to get a van and do it properly. Do at least, you know, three, four, five, maybe six months away, traveling in a van. But in all honesty, it looks super aesthetic, but there's definitely things where you're like, 
I've got, I've got to find somewhere to go toilet here. And the great thing is if you actually want to rent Carrot, you can, you can rent Carrot itself and live this van life. Try it out for yourselves at Van De Vans. I'll leave them down in the description. I do think if you're living longer term in a van, you might feel quite claustrophobic and not sure where, you know, you just feel really tight for space, but I guess that's something you also get used to as well. One of my favorite things about van life is just being able to eat wherever we want and eat whatever we want. Like we can just go to a big supermarket buy loads of cheap food and just cook up a feast whenever we want to. And you get to wake up at this beautiful spot right here, which Woo. is just insane. Like, we're gonna wake up here tomorrow morning and just be like, this is the life. Until we have to find someone to go to the toilet. But anyway, <laughs> let's forget that. You can literally rent this van. Honestly, highly recommend it because this island for Aventura is absolutely beautiful. And I think it's like the best way to actually see this island as well. Yeah, and I think it's the perfect place to try out van life because you can literally pull up anywhere and sleep. Like it's so yeah. easy. It's just the best way to try it out. And she is a beauty. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>